Welcome. This training video covers the measurement list. The measurement list is a tool that automatically keeps track of all measurements in a project. As you measure, each measurement is saved to the list. You can check your list at any time by clicking the Measurement List Window button located at the top of the Measurement Summary Control and on the View tab. It is configured as a grid with rows and columns. The rows represent each individual measurement. The columns represent information about the measurement. You can add a new column by right-clicking on the column header and then select the Insert Column Before menu option. Choose any of the available columns to insert that column to the left of the column you clicked on. You can add a column to the end of the list by right-clicking the square area above the vertical scroll bar. Select Add Column to End of Grid, and then select the desired column from the list. You can also delete a column by right-clicking on the column heading and selecting Delete from the context menu. You may want to configure the columns differently for different purposes. For example, you might have one configuration for reviewing measurements and another for transferring information to Excel. To save the current configuration, right-click on any column header and choose Save Column Configuration. Type in a name and click OK. To reload a saved configuration, right-click in the column heading and select Load Column Configuration from the menu. Choose the configuration name and click OK. You can delete a column configuration by right-clicking in the column header and choosing Delete Column Configuration. Select from the list and click OK. By default, the list is sorted in the order that you take off measurements, with the newest measurement at the bottom of the list. You can sort the list by any of the columns by right-clicking on the column header that you wish to sort by. Then click Sort By, Ascending or Descending. You will see a small triangle in the column header indicating that the column is being sorted and whether it is sorted ascending or descending. You can also subsort by any other column in the list by right-clicking on the column header that you wish to subsort by. Then click Subsort By, Ascending or Descending. Once a sort sequence is defined, you can show or hide subtotals by pressing the subtotal button in the toolbar. Subtotal rows are displayed in a bold font. This example shows a total by material with subtotals by drawings. When you are finished with taking off your project, your quantities can be transferred to other applications to add labor and material cost. For example, you could transfer your quantity results to your Microsoft Excel estimating template. First select the Float button in the toolbar to float the measurement list above another application. Then open the other application. Notice how the measurement list floats or stays on top of Excel. The transfer is done by selecting the measurement list cells, then dragging and dropping them. There are several ways to select cells. You can select single cells by clicking on them. You can select a rectangle of cells by selecting one corner, then holding the Shift key down while clicking on the opposite corner. You can select a column by holding the Shift key down while clicking on the column heading. You can select a range of columns by selecting the starting column in the range, then selecting the ed ending column. Select a row by holding the Shift key down while clicking on the row heading. You can select a range of rows by selecting the starting row in the range, then holding the Shift key and selecting the ending row. Select the entire grid by holding down the Shift key while clicking the area above the row heading and just to the left of the column heading. The selected cells will have a light blue background and will be bordered by a blue line. To transfer them, click down on one of the selected cells or within the selected range. Holding the mouse button down, drag the cells to the desired destination in the other application and release the mouse button. Thank you. That is the end of this training video.